Uh, but apart from the schools, are you planning for the lifting of those other lockdown restrictions too? Well, you're not alone. But with hope very much on the horizon, we are being warned not to let our guard down just yet. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is here. And Jeremy, we saw pictures, didn't we, that police were dealing with a few lawbreakers over the weekend. Yeah, and with such a warm, sunny weekend, they were out in the parks this time. Officers basically reminding people to stick to that stay-at-home rule. Now, that means that while you can exercise in pairs or with your household or support bubble, it's still against the law to uh, meet for socialising or picnics. Now, in Nottingham, several groups had to be dispersed on the Arboretum. No fines, but the force was keeping a high profile. And you can see how seriously they're taking it here on the force's website. The front page has this button to report COVID breaches. Then you get this menu, everything from self-isolation to illegal gatherings and from scams to not wearing face coverings. Crikey, well, I mean, why are they taking it so seriously? Well, we've seen, you know, such a sharp fall in cases. We have, but it's because we're not out of the woods yet. Mm. Those restrictions aren't going to be lifted until case rates nationally fall much further. And we've still got some of the highest rates in the country here in the East Midlands. Uh, North West Leicestershire, Mansfield and Leicester in the top 10 tonight. And this is all prompted a tweet from the Health Secretary Matt Hancock. This message from Professor Jonathan Van Tam. Do not wreck this now. It is too early to relax. Just Continue to maintain discipline and hang on just a few more months. Do not wreck this now. We are so close. Well, I hope we are so close. But what about, about the rest of the East Midlands? What's been happening? Some concerns about numbers brought out by the sunshine in Derbyshire, particularly at tourist hotspots mm -hmm. like Matlock Bath. And over the weekend in Leicestershire, the police had to find someone for what they called a large birthday party in a back garden. They also broke up a rather more unusual illegal gathering in Melton, a party in a hot tub. <laughs> I'm just going to think about that one. Jeremy, thanks very much indeed for that.